Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Walking Dead franchise and the future that lies ahead. We're going to talk about the reason why I feel the Walking Dead does need a unofficial season 12. <laughs> Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a video today, this one's going to be doing a video for The Walking Dead, and in today's video we're going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead Universe. This is one that I really, really wanted to do my own video for and kind of address fully as its own video, which is why The Walking Dead needs a season 12. So, uh, this video is one that I've been planning on doing for a little while now. It's things that I've kind of addressed minorly in Q&A videos and stuff like that, but I really wanted to do a full video on it and kind of elaborate a little bit on what I mean by that. So, um, recently with The Walking Dead, obviously the main show has ended. We've had the end of season 11, which I thought was a really strong conclusion. And, you know, I want to make sure I specify that. I really did enjoy the ending of Walking Dead. Um... Rest in Peace is probably one of my all-time favorite series finales ever, to be honest. It's it's amazing, and I think Walking Dead really knocked it out of the park with that episode. And it really does also um, just kind of close everything up, but not entirely. We did set up a lot of things for spinoffs, and we did set up a lot for other shows, which leads me into this topic, okay? So I wanted to do this video when The Walking Dead ended, but I feel, I, I kind of felt like, okay, I'll let the franchise breathe a little bit, and, you know, maybe uh, they'll kind of prove me wrong, but as the past few months have kind of gone on I've kind of just felt the need to make this video even more which is that Walking Dead universe guys is definitely not going down a path that I think I think a lot of us is going to want it to to go down you know uh because we have all these split up shows right now we have Dead City we have the Daryl Dixon spinoff and we have the Rick spinoff and we have Fear the Walking Dead and these are all spinoffs that are all kind of separated and all that stuff and the cast is split up like hell right and I was actually fine with that because I kind of figured that eventually all these spinoffs would come together into one big thing. Because obviously, we're not just going to have everybody be separated forever. We're going to get some sort of reunion. We're going to get one big kind of final hurrah, right? And at least this is what I was thinking, and I'm sure a lot of you guys could probably agree. Uh, I thought it was going to be in the Rick show. You know, I thought it would be in the Rick show. You'd see Daryl in the Rick show. You'd see Judith in the Rick show. And everybody would come together, and you get this big war with the CRM, and we get like a few seasons of this Rick show and whatever. And this is kind of the, the nudge I had to talk about this is that we're getting six episodes of the Rick show and more than likely guys, that is it. And if that's the case, then Daryl is sure as hell not going to make an appearance in this show. And Judith is sure as hell probably not going to have an appearance, like maybe in the final episode at the most, but six episodes to have Rick have a reunion with Michonne to have the war with the CRM uh, to get, you know, Commonwealth versus CRM and this big war that we're all kind of discussing right now and to conclude Rick's story well and to have all the reunions we want with Daryl and Judith and to have everything we'd want. I mean, I can't understand any Walking Dead fan that would think that six episodes is enough to get that, you know, uh, easily we have to have more than these six episodes to get all the reunions with Rick all the, the stuff with the CRM, learn about what CRM is, and then conclude his story. Like, there's no way that we'll ever get that in six episodes. So, what do we do, right? It can't be in Dead City. That show has no connection whatsoever. Um, it can't be the Daryl show because he's out in France. So, how are you going to get this reunion with Daryl going? How are you going to get Rick reacting to the fact that he has a son? How is he going to react when he sees Judith? How are we going to get all these moments in six episodes and still establish the CRM, uh, you know, as a big enough threat and conclude that story as well too, you know? So that's when all these questions kind of come up. And I think to me, the, the biggest answer is Walking Dead season 12. Now I want to make sure I specify something. I don't think they'll call it a season 12 and I don't, and I'm, you know, that's what I'm kind of saying is that I don't think it'll be called a season 12, but I think we are going to get a season 12 in some kind of capacity because in my opinion, there's no way that you can have everything go down in this Rick show and everything connect. And, you know, Scott Gimple, he's trying something different. He's trying to make The Walking Dead the next Marvel. I mean, let's just kind of acknowledge the elf in the room. He has Fear the Walking Dead. He has uh, Dead City. He has the Daryl show. And he has the Rick show. So to have all of these kind of connect, because they're obviously going to have to connect at one point. You can't just have all these spinoffs just kind of be their own thing and they don't connect whatsoever, you know. Uh, there has 
has to be some sort of connection. And obviously with six episodes of the Rick show and with Daryl being in France, you know, the evidence is kind of there. We're not going to get a major connection. We're not going to get a major crossover type series. So why not at some point do a season 12? Why not have Commonwealth versus CRM, Rick versus Major General Beale, and have a major final battle, you know? Uh, to me, that's something that if they don't give us that, and if they don't give us the reunions we want with Daryl and Judith and all that stuff, and, you know, the war with the CRM, and seeing Rick with our group again, I mean, literally, if they don't give us that... I can't see how any Walking Dead fan would be, you know, happy with that, right? We are happy to see Rick, but we also want those reunions. And with six episodes, yeah, we're not going to get that. We're going to get Rick and Michonne, maybe Rick and Judith, and like, that's it. You know what I mean? So, it just doesn't, uh, something does not sit right with me with having six episodes to cover all of this. So, that's why I'm saying we need a unofficial season 12. We need a 16 episode crossover season with Morgan and Rick seeing each other again you know Maggie and Rick seeing each other again Negan and Rick you know like th that reunion like Negan's reaction and Rick's reaction to Negan you know uh things like this we need to get and I can't accept that we're just going to end things with a six episode spinoff a little bit of Dead City and just a little bit of a Daryl show and we have no connection whatsoever you know uh I do not believe that at all I don't believe that that's where the Walking Dead franchise is going and we have to get some sort of final season. We do. Because season 11, it's a good, you know, kind of temporary end for The Walking Dead uh, name. But it's not, to me at least, a full conclusion to what The Walking Dead is. The Walking Dead needs to conclude with all of the journeys that we've followed since the beginning. Connecting in something that actually feels like it matters that we've watched this all the way through. You know, I don't get that kind of payoff with season 11. I get, okay, that's a nice little temporary conclusion, but at least in my opinion, five at the most, 10 years from now, we need to get something like this. We need to get a Commonwealth versus CRM, Rick, Morgan, everybody else, Daryl's back, Maggie and Negan are back, and you get a major final season, you know, and like I said, you don't have to call it The Walking Dead, you don't, you know, you don't need to go down that road, but you can definitely make an unofficial final season, almost like how Dexter New Blood did, you know, they made an extra season, and now they call that the final season, you know, same thing with Game of Thrones and the Jon Snow spinoff that we're getting after, you know, season eight, you mean to tell me that's not a conclusion and that's not a continuation and they're trying to make something better? Yeah, you know, that's easily what they're doing. So to me, it feels like there's already been so many TV shows that have done that. I know that, you know, that would technically mean that Walking Dead, quote unquote, lied to us and gave us, you know, a season 11 when there really is a season 12 and, you know, season 11 is not the real final season, but it's better than ending things off when you're just like split up with like four different shows, you know? So at least in my opinion, we need to connect this thing at some point. We need to connect this franchise. A franchise, at least in my eyes, can't go on forever. Walking Dead franchise cannot go on for 30 more years. We need a conclusion with all the characters that we love, all the characters that we followed. And now that it's definitely not going to be the Rick show, seeing how that's six episodes long, uh, yeah, we need to get a season 12. And that's why I made this video is because we need some sort of crossover final season, definitive ending for the Walking Dead name. And that's all I got to say about it. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think the Walking Dead ending and a whole bunch of split up spinoffs with no reunions whatsoever makes a lot of sense to you? I can't see anybody that's a fan of the walking dead that would actually agree with that but like i said you know we're all entitled to our opinions i think this is what we need this is what walking dead needs to end off strong but um like i said it's not urgent i'd say five years ten years at the most we need a season 12 so that's just my opinion let me know in the comment section below how do you guys feel about that and of course if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for the walking dead make sure to follow me on dan's the walking dead reviews on instagram guys and of course i'll see you guys really soon for more walking dead videos enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out